Hello, I'm Pastor Matthew Verhoeven, and this is Three Minute Sermons. Today we're going to do the Christmas story, Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 20. This story begins with the census of Caesar Augustus. He's this great Roman emperor. He was hailed for bringing this era of peace, and yet this isn't the peace that we're going to look for. One of the important things he did was he reformed the tax code, which might seem insignificant, but this required a population-based census. And so this census moves our characters. So our characters are Joseph and Mary, this poor, seemingly insignificant couple, but they are actually, Joseph is a descendant of David. And this really shows the, the difficult situation God's people were in. They were at the mercy of foreign taxes. And this descendant of the former ruler, the King David, was now just this itinerant carpenter and you an economic refugee up to Nazareth. So he has to travel back with Mary, who's pregnant, to Bethlehem. And while they're in Bethlehem, it says that she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in, in swaddling cloths. These, these cloths, they wrapped around the babies. to kind of, They were kind of like mummies. So they, they tried to make their arms straight, which was their custom of the day. And they laid him in a manger, in a, in a feed box. And we get to this part, we're like, whoa, what's going on here? Because there was no place for them in the guest room. And this really shows how poor they were. They couldn't afford to, to, to pay to stay in regular lodging. So they had to stay where the poorest of the poor would stay, down in the lower rooms or in like a cave with, with animals. Now nearby there were shepherds. In, in the fields nearby, and these shepherds were going to get an announcement because all of a sudden an angel appeared to them, the glory of the Lord shone around them, and said, I bring you great news of good joy. And he tells them of who this baby in the manger is. Jesus is a Savior. He's going to save the people from their sins. He is Christ, the Messiah, the long-promised Son of David, who will rule forever, and he is Lord, which really means he's God. So the shepherds, all of a sudden, the heavens open up and they see what's really going on. Glory to God in the highest peace and the angel choirs are singing. So then they go, they with haste travel and they see everything just as the angel said. They tell Mary and Joseph and everyone about how amazing this birth is. From Jesus' humble birth, we can see, we can, we can take heart in knowing that what we experience at any given moment is not what will be in God's plan. For as they followed God, Mary, and Joseph, all they saw was the difficulty of their surrounding, but God was working, and God had them exactly where he needed them to be, because Jesus was going to be born in a manger, because he was going to be a savior to all the people, not just the, the rich, but starting with the poor. He was going to work his kingdom from the bottom up. And so we can know when we look around that what we see is not is not an indicator of what will be in Jesus Christ.